Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. All right, everybody, this is Eddie, uh, Paul Neeson with uh, Eddie Chubney. And uh, Eddie, uh, why don't you say hello to my audience? Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to uh, be here and to be uh, sharing with you today. And uh, I want to share with you a very important uh, subject that will give you great awareness and insight uh, regarding the world around you and the things that are happening. We are living in the days of Elijah. And the days of Elijah, Malachi 4.4, is to remember the Torah of Moses. And the days of Elijah precede the coming of the Messiah. And it's Elijah and Elijah's message that prepares the people of God um, as his bride for the coming of the bridegroom. But there is a force that opposes the spirit of Elijah, and that is the spirit of Jezebel. And um, traditionally, people think of Jezebel as a dominating woman, and that's a very shallow understanding of the spirit of Jezebel. Uh, Jezebel was as control, uh, manipulation, witchcraft, um, uh, wanting something that is not theirs, dominating. And uh, actually, uh, the spirit of Jezebel, which is a spirit of rebellion as well, uh, uh, the rebellion against the Torah is a spirit of Jezebel. And um, what we need to understand is what feeds that spirit of Jezebel? Because every spirit, in order for it to prosper, has to feed upon something. And the spirit of Jezebel feeds upon uncleanness. And the main area of uncleanness is sexual immorality. So there is no accident that as the world leaders are seeking to bring together a one world government, uh, new world order that at the same time what's being promoted worldwide is gay pride, gay marriages because this is the expression of the sexual immorality that is needed to empower the spirit of Jezebel or the spirit of control, manipulation, witchcraft, domination and the this, this uh, sexual immoral spirit is not just gay marriages and gay pride, but it manifests itself in the form of um, abortion, um, relations outside of marriage, um, and just the whole promotion of sexuality that comes forth from Hollywood that is accepted now in our um, TV programs that we watch that the reason why there is such an increase of the promotion of sexuality um, is because of the need to empower the spirit of Jezebel to control and to, not, to dominate and to bring deception upon uh, the people of the world and so I want you to study this and be aware of it because it's a key to your um, uh, liberty and freedom in Messiah is to uh, separate yourself from the spirit of uncleanness. And so um, anything that's unclean is what the spirit of Jezebel um, uh, needs and it's not just sexual immorality but that's the primary thing but when we eat unclean foods we are partaking of uncleanness and that uncleanness feeds the spirit of Jezebel as well so it's anything that the Bible defines as being unclean is what the spirit of Jezebel uh, feeds on and the end time confrontation that we have uh, in the end of the ages, what we call the tribulation period, uh, the beast, and the beast system, the antichrist, the antichrist system, um, we are fighting um, that spirit of Jezebel, which wants to say no one may buy or sell unless he has the mark of the beast. That's control. Um, that's, uh, you must do it our way, and if you don't do it our way, then 
um, you are a, a criminal if you don't accept our way of thinking, our liberal, globalist thinking. And so that is the spirit that we have to overcome um, here as we are in the days, the end of days and in the tribulation. And in order to defeat that spirit, you have to return to the Torah, and it's called returning to Zion, and returning to the highway of holiness, where it says in Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 1, that the unclean and the circ the unclean and the uncircumcised, in other words, those who are not following the Torah, will not walk in the ways of Zion. So I hope that this message has been helpful to you to make you more consciously aware of the spirit world that's operating around us so you can have the correct spiritual discernment to be an overcomer in the days and the times in which we're living. The, the spirit of Jezebel is a religious spirit. In uh, the book of Revelation, uh, the spirit of Jezebel is called that prophetess. So uh, it's a religious spirit. So you will see it within Christianity. You'll see it within the Messianic Hebrew Roots movement. And these are the, the characteristics of it. And so it, it feeds off of everything that the Bible calls unclean. And do you think uh, the immoral way that women dress today is part of that spirit? Um, whether women realize it or not, um, uh, it, it, the culture encourages it um, as a way of promoting your feminism. Um, and but but yes, whether uh, women realize it or not, it is a uh, contributing factor that feeds uh, the unclean spirit of Jezebel. Now, um, in order to break the spirit of Jezebel, um, you need to go through mikvah, and you have to go through fasting and prayer. That's what breaks that spirit. So, uh, what does the Bible say? Um, um, as a woman uh, has her uh, nidah, it says she's supposed to have a mikvah. And when the God of Israel brings his uh, people back to the land and the redemption, and it says, and you'll uh, cast away your idols and your abominable things, in Ezekiel in chapter 37, what does it say? It says he's going to pour out clean water upon us. It, it's given us a spiritual mikvah. And in the book of Joel, Joel chapter um, 2, um, where it talks um, about a, a real crisis in the land. It, it says, uh, sanctify a fast. And so from the fasting it says that, that God will pour out His Spirit. And so the Bible is showing you that you're encountering this uh, spirit of Jezebel and it's returning to the Torah, uh, having a, a mikvah and fasting and praying that breaks that spirit that gives you victory over that spirit. It's because of the culture in which we are living in um, that has watered down um, uh, biblical principles and biblical ways that we accept things as uh, being acceptable um, and normal because we compare it to the culture in which we live in um, rather than measuring it up to um, the biblical standard. What would your message be to uh, people out there that do not believe in the scriptures or what the Bible says? Well, um, um, you need to pray and, and cry out to the living God uh, to um, that He would show you His truth. And it says in John 14 verse 6 that Yeshua is the way, the truth, and the life. And it says in Psalm 119 verse 142 that the the Torah is truth. It says in Psalm 119, 151 that all the commandments are truth. And so you need to um, uh, follow Yeshua and you need to follow the Torah or the Word of God or, or, or the Scriptures in order for you to um, be able to overcome um, the spirit uh, in the world, the spirit of the Antichrist, the beast system, the spirit of Jezebel. Um, and uh, it, it's got different names and it's got different forms, but it's the only way that you can have victory in these days because it says in Revelation that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And here's the patience of the saints, uh, those that believe in Yeshua and 
keep his commandments. All right, Eddie, give us your website and how people can contact you. Well, our website is uh, hebroots.org, H-E-B-R-O-O-T-S dot O-R-G. And um, we have a web store where we have all types of products uh, where you can help you learn the Hebraic roots of Christianity. And it's webstore.watchmanofzion.com. And so we uh, thank you for um, giving us uh, this opportunity, and we pray it's been a blessing to you. Great. Thank you very much, Eddie. Is there anything you want to say, uh, or you said enough? Just be blessed in Yeshua the Messiah, and, and uh, may His Shalom be with you. Amen. Seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's way.